Hi, welcome to Human Body Anatomy and Physiology chapter. This chapter is divided into three parts. In part one, we will discuss respiratory system, cardiovascular system, muscular system, and skeletal system. Please note that at the end of this chapter, the student should be able to describe the anatomy and physiology of human body system and identify hazardous substance to human health. There are nearly 7 billion people in the world and we are all different. The human body is a fascinating and complicated structure made up of millions of cells that all work together. These cells combine to make tissues, two or more tissues combine to make organs, and several organs combine to make body systems. These systems are all controlled by complicated interaction of signals and chemicals passing around the body. Your body systems are interlinked. Each has its own task, but they are all dependent on one another. Let's start with human respiratory system. Human respiratory system consists of the airways and the lungs. When air is breathed in, it passes through the nose, down the airways, and into the lungs. Breathe out air passes in the opposite direction. It is necessary for gas exchange, exchanging oxygen in the air that we breathe in for carbon dioxide in the air that we breathe out. The respiratory system works in partnership with the circulatory system to make sure every cell in the body receives oxygen and is able to get rid of its waste carbon dioxide. The respiratory system takes up most of the space in the chest. The lungs and the lower part of the airways are enclosed and protected by the ribs. Muscles in the ribcage contract and relax as we breathe in and out. A large muscle under the lungs, called the diaphragm, also contracts and relax as we breathe. The function of human respiratory system includes to provide for gas exchange, the intake of oxygen and the removal of carbon dioxide, to help regulate blood pH. It contains receptors for the sense of smell in the nose, to warm, filter and moisten inspired air, Human respiratory systems also help to produce sounds and to get rid of water and heat in exhaled air. Some occupational hazards can affect human respiratory systems. The examples are aldehydes, beryllium, moldy hay and green compost, and minerals. Each examples given are used and produced in specific industries which can affect human respiratory system in various ways. Aldehydes can cause irritation to human eyes and respiratory tract. Moldy hay and grain compost used in agriculture can cause lung infection. Let's move on to human cardiovascular system. Human Cardiovascular system is a system of tubes called blood vessels that carries blood out from your heart to all your body cells and back again. Each of body's 600 billion cells get fresh blood continuously, although the blood flow is pulsating. On the way out from the heart, blood is pumped through vessels called arteries and arterioles. On the way back to the heart, blood flows through venules and veins. For each upward going artery, there is usually an equivalent returning vein. Blood flows from the arterioles to the venules through the tiniest tubes called capillaries. The blood circulation has two parts, the pulmonary and the systemic parts. Pulmonary circulation is the short section that carries blood low in oxygen from the right side of the heart to the lung for refueling. 
It then returns oxygen-rich blood to the left side of the heart. The systemic circulation carries oxygen-rich blood from the left side of the heart all around the body. It returns blood that is low in oxygen to the right side of the heart. Inside the blood, oxygen is carried by the hemoglobin in red blood cells. Blood circulates continuously round and round your body through an intricate series of tubes called blood vessels. Bright red, oxygen-rich blood is pumped from the left side of the heart through vessels called arteries and arterioles. Purplish blue, low in oxygen blood, returns to the right of the heart through veins and venules. The heart is a powerful pump made almost entirely of muscles. The heart contracts and tightens and relax automatically about 70 times a minute to pump blood out through your arteries. The heart has two sides separated by a muscle wall called the septum. The right side is smaller and weaker. It pumps blood only to the lungs. The stronger left side pumps blood around the body. Each side of the heart has two chambers. There is an atrium at the top where blood accumulates from the veins and a ventricle below that contracts to pump blood out into the arteries. The ventricles have much thicker muscular walls and are much stronger than the atria as they have to pump blood further around the body. Human cardiovascular system functions are number 1. To circulate blood around the body number 2. To deliver oxygen and carbon dioxide to and from cells number 3. To help blood clot to stop bleeding and number 4. To help control body temperature Human cardiovascular system can be affected by several occupational hazards for example, workplace stress, aspergillus fungus extreme temperature and nitroglycerin. Aspergillus fungus can be found in agriculture industry, can cause endocarditis. Workplace stress can cause heart attack. Extreme temperature that can be found, for example, in foundry and mining industries, can cause cardiac ischemia. Nitroglycerin that is frequently used in manufacturing actually can cause myocardial infarction. The third human body system is human muscular system. Muscles are special fibers that contract and tighten and relax to move parts of the body. Muscles give our bodies their different shapes and help to hold the body upright. And muscles are usually arranged in pairs because although muscles can shorten themselves, they cannot forcibly make themselves longer, so the flexor muscle that bends a joint is paired with an extensor muscle to straighten out again. There are three types of muscle, skeletal, smooth and hard muscle. Most of the muscle in the body is skeletal muscle. There are around 640 skeletal muscles and they make up about half the weight of your body. Skeletal muscles are made up of special cells called microfibrils. Skeletal muscle is strong but cannot keep working for a long period of time like other type of muscles. Athletes have to train so that their skeletal muscle will work for longer. Heart muscle or cardiac muscle is a unique combination of skeletal and smooth muscle. It has its own built-in contraction rhythm of 70 beats a minute and special muscle cells that work like nerve cells for transmitting the signals for wave of muscle contraction to sweep through the heart. Most involuntary muscles form sacs or tubes such as the intestine or the blood vessels. They are called smooth muscle because they lack the band or stripes of voluntary muscles. Some occupational hazards can affect the function of human muscular system for example, repetitive movement and forceful exertion in meatpacking and manufacturing industries and awkward postures among mechanics and manufacturing workers. Repetitive movement can cause muscle wear and tear, while forceful exertion causes torn muscle from the use of high impact movement. Awkward posture can affect human muscular system 
by muscle soreness due to low oxygen level in the muscle. Moving on to the fourth human body system, which is the human skeletal system. Human skeleton is a rigid framework of bones which provide an anchor for your muscles, support your skin and other organs, and protect your vital organs. An adult skeleton has 206 bones joined together by rubbery cartilage. Some people have extra vertebrae, the bones of the backbone or spine. A baby's skeleton has 300 or more bones, but some of these fuse or join together as the baby grows. The skeleton has two main parts, the axial and the appendicular skeleton. The axial skeleton is the 80 bones of the upper body. It includes the skull, the vertebrae of the backbone, the ribs and the breastbone. The arm and shoulder bones are suspended from it. While the appendicular skeleton is the other 126 bones, the arm and shoulder bones and the leg and hip bones. Bones are so strong that they can cope with twice the squeezing pressure that granite can or four times the stretching tension that concrete can. Weight for weight, bone is at least five times as strong as steel. Bones are so light, they only make up 40% of your body's total weight. Bone gets their rigidity from hard deposits of minerals such as calcium and phosphate. Human skeletal system functions include produce movement and locomotion, Maintaining body posture and position, protects vital organ, provides attachment point for muscles to allow movement at the joints, and produce new blood cells by the red bone marrow inside our bones. Repetitive movement and forceful exertion, as can be found in meat packing and manufacturing, can affect human skeletal system. Repetitive movement can cause tendonitis and arthritis, while forceful exertion can cause tendonitis and tennis elbow. Effects of carcinogenic chemicals can cause bone and blood cancer.